Hey, what's up? Back again. First base note hit me in the chest, and I was just like, there's no way that's too late. MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel, and this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. And <laughs> that's funny. Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, why do I get the Cosmos audio sub here? Well, today I'm going to talk about and try to explain one particular parameter that is often misused to dis determine the strength of a subwoofer. I myself, I was guilty of this early, early in years, years, years ago. I thought that, and the parameter is the BL. And the BL is the force of the magnetic field within the gap. It's dependent upon the length of the wire, the size of the wire, also something that contributes to it slightly is we'll put it like this let me explain to you like this if you notice we look at the bl parameter that the more resistance that is in the wire the stronger the magnetic field appears that, that can be measured the more resistance there is so a d4 sub will have a higher bl than a d2 sub always gonna be like that if it's not like that and i was fine that with a manufacturer that had it listed incorrectly and i said these jokers definitely don't know they probably know less than me and went and bought a subwoofer company <laughs> had something made because whenever you look at the resistance in the wire the greater the resistance the stronger the magnetic field is going to appear or be able to be measured okay so does having a high bl Subwoofer advantage. Well, what is high? Most people feel that 30 Tesla meters is high BL, but that was years ago. <laughs> 30 Tesla meters is not a high. You you have eights this 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 catch touching that quickly. Uh, that BL if touching it surpassed it uh, because materials. Uh, the, of like the cone, the surround, the spiders have increased so they can have and can have a stronger magnetic field even in, even in an 8-inch driver. Normally, customarily, the BL in most, a good 8-inch driver is going to be at least 25 and under. Uh, and, all, and that's, now, now like I said, that's, that's not just one parameter you need to look at because that parameter is, like all the rest of them, are all code, none of them exist separate from each other, other than saying it's made out of metal, <laughs> a ferrite magnet. That BL parameter is dependent on a lot of things. So you, and some wolf will, let's say Sundown has a, a BL of uh, 24, 25 on a D4 configuration. You say, oh man, well that trumps your BL that you got in this, this, this EP audio. It has a BL of, I think 12. Well, it, it, it's the the soft part's a little bit lighter too than what Sundown uses. So you have a, a uh, BLs also going to be depending on how much everything weighs MMS, right? And if you use that analogy to say, well, whoever has the highest BLs, the strongest, then you basically saying then that the just looking at BL parameter and not fully understanding it. Make sure you understand that looking at BL parameter, and not fully understanding the number that you're looking at. Well, then you would say, well, then the BT Audio shits on the Sundown X8, just totally shits on it because it has a BL of 75, and the BL on the on the X8 is 20, 25. And that's why you can't look at that, that BL parameter. I gave you three different illustrations right there. This got a, this has a low BL parameter, but there's other reasons why the BL is low on this Cosmos Audio Sub. There's other corners they cut and took that so that they can have a moderately, what would, be, what would be considered a low BL, but it's not needed to move this driver to the power handling it needed. Well, same thing using that illustration. I said, well, the, the X8 will trump this because it's twice as much. 12 in the, D, in the D2 and 25 in, uh, in, in the X8. Ah, right, but then we would explain the B2 Audio, which has 75. So if you don't understand that parameters, don't look at those TS parameters, just look at numbers. 
and think the greater the number because that's not <laughs> you look at chance parameters some of those values you want a lower number than you want a higher number based on what you're using the subwoofer to do based on what you really want the subwoofer to do and that comes from experience of building boxes and stuff like that but you know and knowing what works and knowing what doesn't work and how to look how to read parameters give you like a general snapshot a starting guideline because they change at the woofers play and uh so yeah i said well what you gonna do with this now i think i'm gonna put these in the vehicle because i believe i can i believe i can get these to do a 142. i really believe i can get these to do a 142. last time we meet they did a 138 right stay tuned stay tuned Please get at me when you need to close at 404-694-4818. If you would do the odds, that you sure look good over there, girl. Oh.